Your online ePortfolio should include the following three elements. Your course syllabus, a sample of roughly one week worth of assignments with various levels of student submissions, as well as your feedback to the student submissions, and a reflective statement. Clearly label the assignments, submissions, and your feedback. Note, when you upload the student's assignment, remove the student's name and keep it anonymous. First, let's create a section for each of these elements. By default, a brand new portfolio will have one section that you land on when you enter your portfolio. For example, where it says section one, we're gonna type in the word syllabus. Then click the save button. You could add additional sections by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom of the first section. For section two, you are going to title it Sample Assignments. Click Save. Click the plus sign at the bottom to add one more section, and then title this section Reflective Statement. Now that all three sections have been created, they should be listed in the left navigation column. For each of these sections, you're going to add content, or in this case, artifacts. To upload an artifact, click on the button that says Add Artifact. Click the button that says Add Personal Artifact. Type in the title of your artifact. You have two different options to upload your artifact. You could either copy and paste it into the content box, or you can click Browse My Computer and upload it as an attachment. When you have done either or, click the Submit button. Make sure to do this for all your ePortfolio requirements. Remember that for sample assignments, you're going to add three different artifacts. A sample assignment, your level of student submissions, and your feedback. If you have an introduction, make sure to make its own section at the very beginning and clearly label it. If you are not sure of how to structure your portfolio, there are some examples that you can see on the Online Teaching Portfolio Organization that is available on your Blackboard homepage.